Hey everybody, this is Pookie TVX. Y'all have a um, a happy New Year's Eve. I bless y'all to bring in a happy New Year's. Y'all stay safe. And stay away from any type of drama. And stay that way all the way through this whole year that's coming up. Wanted to talk to y'all about a little personal situation that maybe can help some kids in a situation that they might be in with either their father or their mother. As, as, as Monty would say, they father. We ain't got your father. <laughs> Crazy, man. Oh, well, what kind of man? No, okay, I'm gonna be for real, but seriously. Um, you know, a little situation I'm gonna share with y'all, man, that, um, that happened that where, you know, cause me and my brothers and my mom moved from Oakland, California to Seattle, Washington. Uh, when I turned about 13, she left my dad and went to, went to um, Seattle, Washington. And, you know, it was no contact with him after that. You know, we didn't talk to him. You know, uh, he would call, we wouldn't talk to him. You know, because we, you know, we felt, you know, but we felt it shouldn't have been like that, you know, not knowing how it is when you're, in a, when you're an adult. So, so anyway, we don't talk to him. So this goes on for about, no shit, man. It's going for about 17 years of no communication with this dude, you know. I mean, he would he would reach out here and there, but we was just so rebellious that we wouldn't even think about picking up the phone or coming to the phone to take time out of our, you know, out of what the hell we was doing, which wasn't nothing, to come to the fucking phone. You know, okay, so fast forward about two, three years ahead, my mom moves to South Carolina to take care of her dad. So her dad ends up passing and leaving her his property. And so she decided to stay out there. So staying out there, we'll go back and visit her every now and then. We'll go back like every, you know, twice a year or three times a year and go visit her. She'll do the same, come out there, you know. And she had uh, met, a, met a friend, met a guy you know, that was a real piece of shit motherfucker, man, from a piece of shit motherfucker from Atlanta. I mean, piece of shit. But at the same time, if he was, he was the type of person that at the same time, if he wasn't dating my mom, he'll be like, he'll be cool. He'll be cool to us. You know, but since you dated my mom, you, you know, you're a piece of shit, man. Anyway. Uh, she calls for us to come fly out there, fly up to her to get this dude out of her house. So we goes up there, get the dude out the house. And, uh, and so he's gone, he leaves. And the next morning was the next morning, which, um, which was my brother's birthday, you know. And my dad called and he was talking to my mom and she was on the phone in the garage. And I was outside. I came out to the garage. And she said, it's your daddy for you. You want to talk to him? I said, no, I don't want to talk to him, man. I don't got nothing to say to him. I don't got nothing to say to him. I don't want to talk to him. And she, she like muted the phone and said, uh, one of these days you're going to have to talk to him sooner than you think. And you might as well just get it over with. And I said, no, I'm not. She said, you're going to have to talk to him. I said no, I'm not. So I walked into the into the back into the living room. I shit y'all not, man. Twenty to twenty five minutes later, me and my brother hear a scream, saying help. 
we rush in there, man. And she was leaning against the truck. She couldn't feel her right side. So we carry her in, sit on the bed and call 911. Her face started drooping to one side. They come and take her to the uh, hospital. And she gets to the hospital and she goes straight into a coma. Boom, she's in a coma. And, and remind you, my, my brother, but this is the eve of my brother's birthday. So she's in a coma, we driving home. My younger brother was driving. I was in the passenger seat and he pulled down the visor to get the sun out of his eye. And a birthday card falls down into his lap from her. Fuck this up, man. So anyway, to make a long story short, she passes away. And, and we had to call the person who we haven't talked to in over 17 years. And we called him, and him and my other brother came down there. No, no, no. My brother came down there. He stayed because he didn't come until yeah he didn't come until we went to Washington. We, when he flew everybody back to Washington. So my brother comes. It's all fucked up in there, man. It's just fucking chaos in there, man. Shit is just going crazy. So we leaves and takes everybody to Washington to have the funeral. And that's when my dad came and my two sisters who I haven't seen in the same amount of time, if not more. So he comes and he stays at my house with me. And we was talking and, you know, and um, we started opening up about how we felt and, and you know, started, you know, started talking about that. And um, it was actually a good talk, man. And, um, you know, people, we cried and, you know, did all this, man. And, and you know, just to, just to get to the point, man, long story short, man, she became my best friend after that, man. Like, I rock with my dad right now, man, every day, man. Every day. You know, and I, that keeps replaying in my head that my mom said, you're going to have to talk to him soon. And I don't know if it was a plan or if it was defining it. I don't know. But from that day on, I rock with my dad ever since, man. And I, and I learned more about him than I ever known, man. As being an adult, you don't know until you get older. You know, you hold this grudge in and you hold it and you hold it. And all they do is tear you down. Put you out there in the drugs. Put you out there in the streets. Put you out there doing crime. Put you out there fucking over with girls and fucking, it just fucks you up, man. And if you guys have any situations like that, just mend them, man. Don't take that in with you in 2019. Get that off your chest. Let it roll off, man. Cause it ain't worth it, man. Cause you you not promised tomorrow, brother. You not promised tomorrow. And you know, and um, and it's not for it's not for you to help them. It's for it's for, for it's for you to help you. So you can live your life, man, with no regrets. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all, man, and um, wish y'all a happy New Year's. Stay safe. You know, if you're like me, I spend it with my family. I don't go nowhere. Too much shit going on, man. But, um, yeah, if that helps anyone, man, hey, use it, man. Because we're not promised tomorrow. Y'all stay blessed. And have a good New Year's.